Hey guys, let's look at terms today. This is a key uh, concept in algebra and what this does, oh man, I, I mean, I just, I can't, this is so great. This, the, what he's doing to you, John Saxon, is he's ruining you for life. No, he's not doing it, okay. He's, he is setting you up. So your big orange algebra one book that you do next year is a roaring success. I mean, he's, we're doing so many things we're gonna do next year in algebra one, just introducing ourselves to him very slowly and then knocking the stuff out. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, you're gonna get this. Terms in algebra are things that are separated by either a plus sign or a minus sign. That's it, that's the definition. So when you see an expression <clears throat> like this, now notice I said the word expression. This is an expression. It is not an equation because it lacks an equal sign, okay? So this is called an expression. What you're gonna do is first in this class is to practice mashing these terms together and then we'll, we'll apply that to equations and then we'll be able to solve the equations and it'll be so much easier for you when you do this. Okay, you tell me how many terms are in that expression. Remember, terms are separated by plus and minus. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and six terms, okay? Notice there are only five plus and minus signs, three plus and two, uh, two minus, okay? All right, let's combine terms now, okay? Let's, let's add like terms. Let's do an easy one, for example, first, all right? If you have a bunch of fives, let's say there are four of them, and then you have three more fives, and then you have two fours, What's an easier way to write this entire thing? In other words, you have four times five, right? And then over here, you have three times five. Well, how many fives do you have total? Seven, right? I mean, you can count them. There's four right there, there's seven fives total, four and three. But if you go like this, oh, four times five plus three times five, you can just write that as one thing. You can do this part and then that part and go, that's gonna be a seven, and then that'll be seven times five. Okay, same thing here. You can, you can go, oh, that's gonna be two times four. And then you can, oh, there's another one, another two. No, that's just one, that's, not, that's a four. Not two, not a four, okay. No, you can figure out what the answer is, we don't care about that. The point is, when you see a bunch of these, you can mash them all together, then mash them with other stuff and call it one number instead of a bunch of different ones. So when you see something like this, how many, you've got, what, 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 uh, what can we call this right there? What's a simple way of putting x plus x plus x plus x? 4x, right? Plus, what's a simple way of putting that? 3x, right? You tell me, how many x's do we have now? We got 7x's, right? That's 7x. So in other words, 4 times that plus 3 times that is 7 times that. Just, just the that. In other words, 4 apples plus 3 apples is 3 apples. You don't change that last thing. You just leave it the way it is. And plus this would be 2 times y, right? And then there's just an eight sitting there on the end. We could get those all together. So the really the, the simplified version of this expression would be seven x plus two y plus eight. Now you notice there's nothing else we can do with that. That's like saying seven apples plus two bananas. You can't go, oh, that's gonna be seven plus two, nine, and then an x and a y, and then a plus, oh, is that 17 now? No, it's none of that. You stop right there, you're done. You can't add those things together you're finished, okay? So let's look at something else. They'll say simplify by adding like terms. Now a like term is basically a term that has the same uh, variable and the same exponent attached to the variable, which we don't worry about right now, okay? Well, you tell me, what is like the negative three x's? Well, there's another one right there, right? And what's like the two y? There's nothing else like it. But these two are alike, right? They're just, they're just numerals, they're constants, okay? So you tell me, what's negative three of something plus two of something? Well, you just put the something right there and you'd go, okay, well, there's negative one of them. That's it, negative three plus two is negative one. And what's two of something? Well, I guess that's it. There's nothing else we can do with that. And you go three plus seven is 10 and you stop right there. That's all you need to do. Don't try to do anything else. You can't add X's and Y's and mash them together. They're not alike. You can only add like terms. Okay, let's try another one. Now it looks longer, but we don't care. It's okay. You don't have to write this down. Just follow me or at least maybe just write a step at a time. Okay, well, let's go for our X's. I always go to the very left term and try to find everything else. There's 3X. Oop, there's a negative 14X. Ooh, there's a uh, 2X. Okay, 
So let's just add those like terms. They're x's. 3x minus 14x, that's negative 11x, right? Negative 11x plus 2x is negative 9x. So we're done with that. We're done with that. We're done with that. You don't have to do that. I usually do that just to remind myself, don't, don't use those terms again. Okay, 2m, and then there's a negative 4m, and that's it. Well, what's 2 plus negative 4, or 2 minus 4? Negative 2, and then that's going to be m. <coughs> and then the last thing will be positive 4 minus 2. <coughs> Excuse me. And there we go. And don't try to do anything else. Don't try to go, oh, something, negative, negative 11xm. No, just leave it. There's nothing else you can do with that. Okay, all right. Let's try the practice problems on page 294. Go ahead and pause it and try A. Okay, let's find them. We got x's first. There's negative 4x. There's a positive 7x. And oop, there's a negative x. Now, you, if you want, you can write a 1 like this, like it's just negative 1. So negative 4 plus 7 is 3x. 3x minus 1x is 2x. And that's it. And you can go oop, oop, and then cross those out. Okay, uh, I got a 4 here, and I got a negative 8, and that'll be negative 4 total. So, oop, there we go. And I got a negative, you can call it negative 1y if you want, plus 4y is going to be 3y. There you go. Now, by the way, in the back of your book, they, they might have an answer that says 2x plus 3y minus 4. Who cares what order it's in? You know, what's 5 plus 8? 8 plus 5. Same thing, doesn't matter what order. Okay, try B. All right, let's do it again. I'm gonna put a one there just to remind myself there's a one Y. One Y, negative three Y, and negative six Y. Okay, so one minus three is negative two. Negative two minus six is negative eight Y. Gone, gone, and gone. Okay, negative four plus 10, that's gonna be six. Oop. And a two minus a six is negative four. M. There we go. That's all you can do. All right, pause it and try C. All right, I'm going to go 1A here. And then it was a negative 6A, a, and then 7A, and that's it. Okay, so 1A a minus 6A is negative 5A. Negative 5A plus 2A is, um, excuse me, 7A. I gave away the answer. There's 2A. Okay, and gone. Okay, 3B and 8B. Okay, well, 3b plus 8b is 11b. That's gone, and that's gone. So I have a 4 minus 10 is negative 6. Negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8, and there we go. Okay, and if you want to write your answer as negative 8 plus 2a plus 11b, fine. That's the same thing. Okay, all right, go to it on those. See if you can get them down, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.